everyone. I just wanted to start a video that is just kind of off the cuff because, um, quite honestly, I haven't been doing my training. Not, not as hardcore as I have been uh, wanting to do. So, um, I wanted to come on and explain a little bit why I'm, um, not really training this week or the past couple weeks, really. I would, I've been going out walking a little bit, but I can't say that I've actually been training. So, um, anyways, so I'm hands free, but you can follow me. And that's because my husband got me a gimbal and Hopefully uh, that will improve things as far as training goes because I will feel more obligated to be doing that. The reason why I really haven't been uh, training much in the past couple weeks is because I have been run down physically, uh, just absolutely run down. And um, actually before, I go uh, too much into my explanation. I want to let you know what I'm actually doing. Right now you'll hear a little bit of paper rustling going on. That's because I am pinning my pattern to my fabric and I am making a dress. And I'm hoping very much so that I can be done with this dress by tomorrow night because that's when my husband and I are going out for our anniversary. And uh, 14 years. And I'm not seeing that actually happening. I, I don't know, because like right now, I am only just now getting into pinning the pattern down to the actual fabric. I, last week, it took me a few days, but I was actually able to do a mock-up of the dress to see how it would fit me and fit great. Anyways, I am deviating way too far off the uh, topic. So, I, um, I have been really run down and uh, it's due to the medication that I've been on. And um, it has um, altered my um, taste a lot. It's made me nauseated. It's gotten my energy very low. And um, I was thinking, I'll just muscle through it. I'll just muscle through it. And I just, no, I could not muscle through it. And so I um, decided, well, I'm gonna have to figure something out because I want to do this 5K. There's a 5K I have my sights on for December. I really want to go to this one 5K. I haven't um, registered for it yet, but um, next week is payday, so I am hoping very much that my husband and I can, can sign up and we can get that in the schedule so that it, I am I have, I have more of a drive. Anyways, um, I think I will be able to train a lot more this next week because I uh, visited my doctor today and uh, we did some lab work. The um, lab work that we were able to get back, he's able to run a few things stat, that means immediately, and um, we got to um, look at my white blood cell count and my, um, what else was he looking at? Platelets. And he says they are down by half, which is not the best thing. Um, it's, it's not um, too terrible, but um, he said that uh, we are going to give the PARP inhibitor, the medication I'm on for my cancer, we're giving it a break for a week. And that, um, it's not too concerning. Um, I'm not too concerned 
that um, I won't be able to take this medication. I think I will. I think we just haven't found the right dose. So um, we're taking a week's break and while I'm off of the PARP inhibitor for this next week, I'm hoping that my energy level will be boosted, especially since I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a carnivore, so it, it, it will help immensely. Um, and I got some medication for the nausea, so that will definitely help too. Anyways, um, so I am hoping that starting tomorrow, uh, first thing in the morning, as soon as the boys go off to school, I'll be out on the road in my neighborhood with this gimbal. That was, okay, good, I was still recording. Hopefully, um, I will still be able to train in the morning. Hopefully I'll be feeling really good. I'll be able to get out there just as soon as the boys go to school. And um, neighbors or not, uh, because I am kind of an introvert. I am not a fan of um, going out and socializing all the time. Sometimes it's fine. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with going out and uh, saying hi to the neighbors. I love my neighbors. They're great people. They're dog people. They're out rocking their dogs all the time. And it's a, it's a group of about four or five um, neighbors. They all get into a, a group like around nine in the morning and they're out there walking their dogs. And uh, they know my story. And so they, um, they're always, anytime I'm outside, and we see them, they ask how I'm doing and uh, how everything's going. And, and there's always the, uh, the offers of um, them uh, letting the boys uh, stay over at their house or if they can watch the dogs or, or whatever we need, you know, just in case. And so they're absolutely lovely people. And I don't mind talking with them at all. It's just that I don't want to do it every day because it's mentally tasking for somebody like me. I'm just, I'm just, I don't think shy is the right word. I think just introverted. I believe that is everything for the updates. Um, I'm going to take the paper off of this panel now, and I will let you see the fabric I'm working with at least. You won't be able to see a completed dress in this video, but you'll be able to see, well, I don't know. Maybe you will. Probably not. But, um, <laughs> I, at least let you see what the fabric is going to be like and I'm pretty proud of it um, uh, story behind the fabric my mom's stepbrother uh, his son was getting married last December and um, his wife I can't really call her my aunt my step aunt I don't know she's too close in age to me she's like only 10 years older than me so it's it's um, we're pretty close in age so I can't exactly call her my aunt um, step or not anyways um, she was needing a dress for the wedding and I offered to make her one and uh, she took me up on the offer and while we were picking out her fabric for her dress I, she saw me uh, looking at this fabric and she decided to buy uh, some of this fabric for me as a way of uh, paying me back. And so a letter and just a 
little too much on this side. Anyways, um, and I have not found a pattern yet that, or up until now, I hadn't found anything that I wanted to make this dress into. So I uh, finally did, um, there was a pattern that was released on a Patreon that I'm a part of, and um, it was perfect because um, what they were showing was um, what what the uh, designer of the pa pattern used was um, a embro embroidered uh, kind of a chiffon layered on top of a satin that was like oh my gosh I can use this embroidered uh, fabric that I have layered over satin to make this outfit and it'll look great. So uh, some alterations that I had to make to the pattern were I had to pick out the right skirt to attach to this bodice because it was only the bodice, it's not the full dress. I didn't want a big old full 50s circle skirt. I didn't want much fullness at all. I wanted straight, but I didn't want a pencil skirt because I, I, uh, I'm not big on pencil skirts. I, I need, and uh, this doesn't really lend itself well to a pencil skirt because pencil skirt, you're gonna need a little bit of stretch. Um, so I just made this like um, straight down, what do you call it, sheath uh, design? Anyways, so here's the fabric. I don't know if you'll be able to see the embroidery too well, but there's gold embroidery that goes along it and it has these little eyelets along it. And it's very autumn, which I'm excited about. And so I am, there's some white. I don't want to pick up that fabric because if I do, well, I'm going to have to. Okay. So here's the fabric that's being layered underneath it. Hi, gimbal. Gimbal. Pay attention to me. There we go. Okay. I am still figuring this machine out. So here's the white that will be laying underneath this. And we can see how the, the colors pop out just a lot nicer. And it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to look at the fabric. There we go. Oh, it does kind of. Anyways, so this is what the dress is going to be looking like. It's still, hi, gimbal. Anyways, maybe if I hold it out here. There we go. Anyways, this is what it's going to look like. The uh, green parts are going to be white though. Well, that's about it for all the updates and everything. Um, I, I have to apologize for not being out there on the road like I assumed that I would be and that I had told you that I would be doing. I am going to be going out there tomorrow with the gimbal and neighbors or not, I'm gonna be out there and I'm going to be walking around because not just, not because I just promised you, but I have to promise me and I have to get there and because that's another part of the fight. That's another part of the arsenal against this cancer. And so I have to. Depends on how, how much I want this life, basically. So anyhow, I uh, will let you know uh, soon, very soon, whether or not I got this dress done on time. And um, I will let you know all about our anniversary dinner because we are going out to a um, one of those Brazilian steakhouses that are so fabulous. It's not, it's not, uh, what is it called? Fogo de Chao. It's not that one. Um, it's a different one. And so we got our reservations in about a month ago and I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I've been fasting most of today and I'll be fasting most of tomorrow. So 
I'll definitely be ready. Good morning. Guess what I'm about to do? So, I am in my backyard making my way out to the road. Got my mother-in-law's dog here. She's an escape artist, so need to be careful. All right, get back. No, ma'am. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because I have a very low battery. So, um, if I have to uh, break this out again, I'll break it out again. But uh, in the meantime, just know that I kept my word to myself. I am on the road. And walking. Who knows, I might even run. We'll see how I feel. But right now, I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty fantastic. So, see you guys in a bit. Just got the best news. The best news. So, my cancer marker came back and it has dropped. Last month it was 136. As of yesterday, it was 47. Okay, so we're just waiting for the signatory to come back and I'm willing to bet it has dropped dramatically. Oh my gosh. This is the best news. I've already told my parents. I've texted my sister. Oh my gosh. It's working. Guys, it's working. We just need to find the right dose of the medicine to give me. But it's working. And the diet, you know it's working, guys. You know it's working. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Yes! Okay. So, uh, tonight is the night... Um, anniversary celebration night and so I've got to get to my dress see if I can get it um, made before then probably won't because I'm meticulous and it's just probably gonna take a while and but we'll see we'll see I might just I might end up wearing something else but anyways um, I'll film a little bit of our dinner tonight so you can see and uh, celebrate along with us because tonight we're celebrating, baby. We are celebrating. All right, bye. So the name of this place is Batello Churrascarcia, which I'm probably butchered. But anyways, there's my husband. Um, we had a lot of different cuts of meat. I can't even name them all in such a short time. But this place was great. I really loved it. Okay, so um, I will leave you all with that. It was um, a great night. And... Um, we'll just end the video there. So, um, have a great weekend and welcome. I don't know if you saw, but welcome Jamie French to our community and see you guys in the next video.